Oh, again, I'm a Star Wars fan here for Disney Movie Reviews. And we're going to do another Marvel movie for the Cinematic Universe. This is the 18th installment of the Cinematic Universe called Black Panther. It stars with um, Chadwick Bosman back as Black Panther, just like in the Civil War. Plus Michael B. Jordan, of course, the villain. Um, Martin Freeman. Uptia, I can't pronounce her last name. Angela Bassett, Forrest Wicker, and Andy Zirkus. So it's pretty much that the Black Panther has to go back to Wakanda to be crowned as Black Panther. So they have a tradition of what they what he has to do to do that. And also he met his father um, after he beat the challenge there. So um, then also there's been someone's been tampering some of the relics of Wakanda, and they're trying to stop these people. And also, of course, a Zirkus character too. So it's up to him to stop it. So that's pretty much what the story is about. It's pretty much the origin of Black Panther. Um, I got to say, when I saw Black Panther at, on Civil War, I thought he was a fascinating character. Um, he tries to do what he can do for his country and also for others as well. Yeah, he wasn't a ven uh, vengeful thing um, until at the end of Civil War. Then when he came back, he has to go through his duties and try to be Black Panther. But not very easy, of course. But with all the technology and medicine and stuff like that from Wakanda, that is really cool. It's really cool how he brought African culture into the Marvel Studios and the Cinematic Universe. And Disney did a great job of trying... To do their best to make the characters not only likable but a great story too. You don't have to have like good visuals and try to do just like Justice League would have done to make the movie less likable. So at least this one turns out to be one of my favorite films of the year. And I was so excited to get the Steel Book Edition, which is now out of print. Which is which is pretty cool over there. I just want to show you this. And the back part here. There you go. Alright, so, what should I give this movie? I give it a pass, because this is definitely one of my favorite films, and you need to watch it. Um, yeah, I don't need to spoil, no need to spoil it, even though probably it's like, yeah, we've already seen the movie and stuff like that, but also I'll keep this as a non-spoiler movie, just in case if anyone didn't see it. So, and also a very good accomplishment for Black Panther to be, like, around three months on top 10. That is an accomplishment right there. Well, that's it for this review here. Stay tuned for more new reviews for next week. And, and I'll see you on the flip side. Have a good one.